Look at that, man. This guy just looks nice. I don't care what anyone says. This is, to date, my most favorite Batman figure. What the What is up you guys, Animated Heroes here back with another review and this time it's going to be of the Mafex Batman v Superman Batman and of course I'll be doing Superman as well but he'll come next and this guy looks awesome man I've been waiting on this figure for so long it seems like it's just weird weird story about this guy honestly I was talking to my cousin and I was saying that I wanted somebody to make this guy and I kid you not within a week Mafex had announced that they were making him and I haven't really had any Mafex problems until about a week ago my first Batman broke as you guys can see at the beginning of the video but that don't matter I'm happy about this guy and I'm definitely hoping that this figure is not a letdown it looks absolutely beautiful so without wasting any more time let's go ahead and get into the figure itself but before the figure, you guys know what I always do first, the sexy packaging, and oh my god, is that packaging sexy, like look at that right there, that image right there, man, that bat fleck though, oh my god, Metacom Toys, it looks like they got a new logo, I've never seen that before, DC Comics, Batman, action figure, all them gadgets and hands and stuff in there, man, I'm ready to bust this open up, yeah, the bottom, blah, 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 that don't matter, side right there, you got a picture of him with his grapple gun, the Batman v Superman logo, Mafex Batman, Batman again this side right there the logo nothing special and then on the back you got those cool ass poses of Batman man I'm I'm just ready to crack this thing open so I'm not gonna waste any more time yeah that's the box guys I hope you guys like it now let's move right along I got chills just pulling this guy out of the packaging and from first impression I gotta say this guy is beautiful um man Mafex seemed like they did a pretty good job on it like I have no complaints so far and uh one thing they got this um I don't know what this kind of fabric is called for the cape it's it's different but it's actually really cool it's still got the bendy wire in it but uh anyway I'll get into that when I talk about the articulation but yeah from first impression I can already tell this is going to be a great figure as long as it doesn't break on me so before I even get into the review, I can already tell you guys, you're probably, if you're a Batman fan and you want one other than the Mezco, this is the guy to get because so far I'm loving it. But anyway, let's move right along. This guy stands at just shy of seven inches. He's a little bit under that. So I would say he's definitely the right scale. He's six inch and uh, like I said, looks nice. And uh, anyway, with that said, I will go ahead and get into the articulation of it. Um, normal head, I'm thinking it's probably on a ball pick can look up really well. Uh, actually, that's awesome. Can look down really well. Turn 360, of course, with just about every figure we get. Arms go out a little bit. I'm not sure if there's a like that little pop-off ball peg in there or what but uh got a swivel right there it's a little bit tight i'm not gonna mess with it too much double jointed elbows got that wrist peg right there that can move the fist our hands however you want them to be diaphragm joint right there that's actually very useful as you can see just how much he can crunch from that uh got these drop down drop down leg joints that they always give us and uh i don't know it's useful he can kick out pretty far double jointed knees move forward pretty far as well also can move hmm, back a little bit i mean it's just enough to be effective and then down here you got that little peg at the foot he can pretty much move his foot however you want and he's got the slight toe hinge nothing too effective but i mean whatever they added it so it's nice so overall articulation is pretty good he can pretty much do everything else the standard figure can do that's made by an import company so yeah i'm digging it accessory wise this guy comes with a whole lot more than superman but that's to be expected uh he comes with his signature grapple hook which looks really nice i don't know they did a good job on that the paint and everything just looks really good he comes with um i think this is the gun that he used against doomsday and eh, nothing special about it it's just painted black that's all it is no extra to it but i mean it's got a whole lot of texture and it looks nice he comes with i think this is like a flash grenade i don't know not sure but 
I don't know. It's cool that they included. It's extra. It comes with this awesome batarang. I wish it came with like one or two of them because I feel like I'll probably lose this at some point. But oh well. Comes with two of these hands and these are like gripping. I don't know. Probably for the grapple gun or the other gun. Either way, it's for grabbing something. Comes with this one with his thumb out. He comes with two of them and I guess these are for holding the batarangs, which they also look pretty nice as well. He comes with uh, this. Um not really sure what that's for i don't know i guess you can just add it in with the dynamic pose still looks good another gripping hand maybe this one's for the gun it has a much bigger open spot in there so yeah i'm guessing that's what it's for this is probably the one for the bigger gun and then he's got some open palm hands which obviously these are for the dynamic posing as well but look nice i definitely dig it and then we got the two fist of course and the regular serious face nothing too special about that one but oh well and then this awesome fabricated cape i don't know i don't know the name of this material off the top of my head but man, this thing's freaking fabulous man just look at it it's perfect for this batman i will admit that i like the other mayface version better but i don't know cape's still cool and as long as it's got the bendy wire in it for dynamic poses i cannot complain now for some size comparisons, here he is standing next to the DC Icons Harley Quinn, which I find to be a fantastic figure, and also the first release SH Figure Arts Harley Quinn, and I honestly think both of them go in scale pretty well with him. The size looks to be accurate in my opinion. Here he is standing next to the SH Figure Arts Joker from the Injustice line, and I mean, it's okay, but I think the Joker should be a little bit taller because... Joker's known to be a tall character, and I don't know, this Batman just looks to be a little bit too tall. I don't think Batman's taller than Joker. I might be wrong, but I don't know. Like I said, if I'm wrong, leave it in the comments. Here he is standing next to the Mattel version of himself, and I'm pretty sure that you guys can just look at these and tell which one is better. So I got nothing to say about that one. Where did you come from? And last but not least, here he is standing next to the Greg Capullo version of himself at a higher scale. I believe this figure is 7 inch, but either way, both of them look really awesome. And they're both definitely worth picking up if you don't got them. I said it a million times already, and I'll say it again. This figure is absolutely awesome. Mayfest did a really good job on it, and I mean detail and all. You can just look at it and see that how much they sculpted into the suit. The belt is awesome. Gloves are awesome. Paint is awesome. Boots, face sculpt, and I honestly think Mayfix is really good at doing face sculpts. They're, in my opinion, definitely better than SH Figure Arts. That much I give them. The cape is awesome. Man, just this whole figure overall is just awesome. And if you're lucky enough to get one that's in top physical condition, that's not going to break on you right out of the package. I'm not going to jinx myself, so I'm crossing my fingers right now. But uh, yeah, if you're lucky enough to get a good one, then this guy's definitely worth the purchase. Um, I don't know what you guys are going to do, but I plan on keeping my Mezco in the box. So... This guy is definitely going to be my alternate for the time being anyway. But uh, yeah, anyway, I hope you guys liked the review. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. If you don't like the video, like it anyway because it's Batman and you wanted to see the review of this figure. So uh, yeah, until I come back with Superman, which should be coming either today or tomorrow, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.